Welcome back, Wildcats. It's time for another episode of Last Week of Wrestling. You know what? I'm just going to cut straight to the chase. Um, we've got a great episode. Um, so first off, we have a tour of the new 7th and 8th grade hallway. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I got to go in with the cheer cheerleading squad. And yeah, you'll get a first look at what the new space is going to be like. It's pretty great. Hope you guys enjoy. It's like looking really good and it's getting a lot bigger than it used to be and it's starting to look more like a high school than a middle school now. That's so big. really spacious. But my favorite part is the bathrooms because we get um, our own bathrooms for each grade. Um, I like that it's more, it's, there's more space, and I like that you can, like, control the temperature now. That's my favorite part, so. In our next segment, Jack and Allie are going to review a snack crate. It's a box full of snacks and foods from a different country. Uh, huge shout out to Miss McGee for this idea. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. It's pretty great. Hi everyone, it's me Allie Jeter here from my breakfast room table and I have a snack box to open. So I got a package from a random source that's definitely not my employer, but I got um, a snack crate that filled with the random stuff. Looks like there's a little bit of wear and tear. Looks like it's already been opened, maybe from when I opened it 30 seconds ago. This is from another country, and I'm really excited to see where we got this from. But let's check this out and see what's inside. So it looks like this is a snack pack from Japan. <gasps> Japan! I am so excited! I I'm interested. I, I know foreign candy is like interesting, but it's probably like interesting. Japan has like the cutest snacks on the face of this planet. The first thing I see is it looks like these little chips. It has some tacos on it. So what do we have? Oh, this is different. Oh, let me get some water really quick. This is called Koke Yadon Tacos, and it's a Japanese spin on a Mexican cuisine. These crunchy corn tortilla chips have a unique tangy and savory flavor with boosting hints of fresh salsa. Let's see what these are. Alright, let's see what this is about. I think that these are like Doritos, 
or something. Let's check the. So bright and colorful. I'm kind of obsessed with it. Let's go ahead and open them up. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Oh my gosh. These are the most flavored things I've ever smelled. These out. They smell dangerous. Okay. So it's kind of like it's salty, but there's like a hint of sweetness and then it goes back to being salty. They look like little Doritos. I feel like I've had these before for some reason. Mmm. Oh. Wait, what? They're like sweet, kind of. They're like salty and sweet. That's actually really interesting, but it's good. I would give it, um, uh, four stars out of 6.3. I give those out of 10. I give those a 9. Out, I'd give those a 9 out of 10. Alright, so let's check this out. Oh, okay, so it's some kind of sour candy. It looks like they went out of the way to include sour in English, just so you know, if you get this, you really messed up. Alright, there's a lot more interesting stuff. Oh, these smell really good. Kame Kami Sours, inspired by the delicious Japanese ramen soda. I this hard but chewy gummy candy has a delightfully punchy sourness, followed by fizzy sweetness. Oh my gosh. And this packaging is just so cute. Why do we have packaging like this in the U.S.? This is just so adorable. Oh, these smell really good. Okay, I'm, I'm not excited. I can just see the malic acid just simmering off of this Smells like, it's definitely blue raspberry flavored, I'm guessing. Or like blueberry flavored. It's little turtles! Look at that! Hashtag save the turtles! Can my camera autofocus? Alright, yeah. It's very tough. Oh. Not as chewy as I was expecting. Very tough. You definitely gotta kind of take your time eating these. They're pretty hard. But it's not that sour, but it's really good. This is actually, like, super good. It's pretty good. It didn't have too much flavor, honestly. Candies are not too sour. Like, compared to American sour candies, those are sweet. <laughs> it's not that sour. It's more sweet than sour. But, um, yeah, I give these, uh... Please autofocus for the love of God. So these, I give this uh, 3.6 turtles out of uh, 3.9. They're actually really good. These are called crats. It looks like there's some sort of edamame. Oh, it's sweet. Why is it sweet? What? It's like garlic sweet. I'm kind of scared of this if I'm right. Is that even a thing? It's like garlic sweet, salty, dry. I, it, it hurts. I need a jump cut for when I finish this, so I'll do the funny little snap thing. Okay, it's done. These are, oh, Kratz Edamame. <laughs> wow. These crunchy nuggets have a salty soybean flavor mixed perfectly with the just the right amount of roasted almonds. Best served with a frosty beverage. So let's see what else we have. Oh my god. Uh, this is just vegetables. I mean, <laughs> let's, uh, Gretz. Look at it. It's like a little pea square. I'm kind of scared to eat this. That is, that is actually disgusting. What is, why, oh, it's like vegetable, but you left it out in the sun for a year. Okay, I'll be back. Let's go ahead and move on to our next one. This is our last candy, our last snack. This is called Let's Make It Apple Candy. This is just like fun dip. Oh, it feels like pain. It Wee. I guess we'll like dip this in here and like. All right, guys, I got it completely set up. We got our little. Let me see if you guys can see. We got our little candy right here. Oh, this is the little goo. This is the candy, and we've got the little balls. Yes, you stick it in with the pointy side. So just stick this down here. Let's try this one. Oh, 
Is this what kids in Japan get to do? They get to, like, make their own candy? How cool is that? Now we're gonna turn it a- Whoa. The goo got, like, stiff. If you try to turn it, it, like, makes a wrinkle. Wrap it up. I like to use quite a bit of glue, so I'm not gonna use too much. And just pat it down in the candy. Because I don't want to not have enough left for the rest. Look, guys! It's a little candy! This is so cool. Three, two, one. Oh, it Whoa, that's good. That is so good! That's actually really, really good. It's like a sweet tart, kind of, but you make it yourself. Oh, wait, I'm recording a video. Mmm. That was very good, guys. I must say, all of these snacks were pretty good. I definitely give this one a 10 out of a 10. All right, but anyway, thank you for whoever bought this package. This was pretty fun. I put, like, the final ratings of, like, everything on screen here. This has definitely brought in my horizon of snacks from Japan. And I cannot believe that our snack crate came from Japan. I don't know. I haven't edited this, edited this yet. So, uh, yeah. Uh, goodbye. So, go ahead and think about which one was your favorite, and make sure you guys check out Snack Crate, and you guys can get one, possibly from Japan, or any other country, because there's so many in the world that you can try delicious, yummy snacks and treats from. I'm gonna finish eating all this delicious snacks and food, and thanks guys for watching! Wow, what a really cool reminder to continue to try new things. I mean, look at all those things that Jack and Allie had for the first time, and ended up being really, really good. If for our last segment, we had last week at Westlane Crew go out and ask some would you rather questions in the hallway. Okay, I'm Allie and I'm here with Miss Young. And today I'm gonna to be asking you a would you rather question. So would you rather fly for a mile or be invisible for five minutes? I would rather fly for a mile. Okay, why? Final answer. Um, it just seems a lot cooler. Thank you. Hi. I'm Kenneth, I'm here with Miss Petrano. Julia. And today I'll be asking you if you see the beginning of the universe or the end. Okay. I'd rather see the beginning of the universe first. Okay. Okay, my name is Allie and I'm here with Miss Petrano. Julia. 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 Okay, my name is Allie and I'm here with Loic Andre. And would you rather have no friends and never age or have friends and age 20 times fast? I would rather have friends than age 20 times faster because life without friends is long and boring. Okay, thank you. Merci. I'm Kenneth and today I'm here with Mr. Miller and today we'll be talking about would you rather talk to animals or know every day of history? Would I rather talk to animals or know every day of history? Um, tell you what, I always wonder what my dog is thinking. So I'd rather talk to animals because I can look up those dates. I'm pretty good at figuring out history. Okay. Thank you. Hi, my name is Allie and I'm here with... Mr. Newsom, what up? And today I'm going to be asking you a would you rather question. So would you rather eat toe soup or finger soup? Um, I'd probably eat finger soup because y'all feet stink. So I don't try to eat that. Okay, thank you. Today I'm here with Ms. Roach and Cardio. Talk about would you rather be in the world, Jurassic World, or Marvel? Do you want to go first? Yeah, I'm going to be Marvel. I think Marvel too, just because I don't really like dinosaurs. I'm scared. Okay. Hi, I'm Caleb, and I'm here with Andrea. And would you rather be able to fly or breathe underwater? Breathe underwater. Why? Because I like swimming a lot. Cool, thanks. Hey, I'm Angel, I'm here with Smith Monroe. Uh, would you rather have a year taken off your life, or would you rather spend a year in prison? A year in prison. Why? Um, because I could still like communicate with people, and I don't know, I hear there's some... I mean, prison Mike says prison's really bad, but I hear that you know, there's some cool programs in prison. That's cool. Today I'm here with Jane and Sam and I'm Kenneth. I'm going to ask them, would they rather be in the office or Marvel? Um, I'd rather be in Marvel because... No, I'd rather be in the office because, like, Dwight and Michael Scott, they're, like, the coolest guys I know, like, personally. 
they really hit me. You know? I think so too. Well, that is our episode for today. Again, subscribe if you want to make sure you don't miss an episode and stay tuned. Hey, hang in there, Westlane. Sitting back, Hope you guys have a great